In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Let's begin our celebration on this um, sixth day of the Novena Masses in preparation for Christmas. Let's begin by first pausing for a while, call to mind all our sins and all our failures. Let's ask God for forgiveness and strength. Lord Jesus, your presence brought joy to Elizabeth and her son, John. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, at your visit, Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our Lord and Savior. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may at last, may when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The happiness of Jerusalem originated from the presence of the Lord. This foreshadowed the joy experienced by Elizabeth in receiving the visit of Mary Most Holy, who was carrying in her womb the Savior of the world. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in His love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. 
For in Him, our hearts rejoice. In His holy name, we trust. Please stand. O Emmanuel, our King and Giver of Law, come to save us, Lord our God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah, and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gabi po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Sa gospel na binasa natin ngayong gabi, mayroong dalawang babae. Kilala na natin kung sino sila, di ba? Si Mary at si Elizabeth. Magpinsan. Magkaiba, magkaibang magkaiba sila ng edad. Yung isa batang bata pa. Yung isa medyo may edad na. Lampasan ng childbearing years. Yung isa hindi pa nakakasal pa Ma, na, na, napaplanong magkasal pero yung isa, matagal ng kasal matagal na may asawa and yet both of them in, the diff- in their different states of life kahit magkaiba yung kanilang estado sa buhay bata, matanda pareho sila na biniyaya, biniyayaan pinagpala both of them were blessed with having a child isa sa kanyang kabataan, wala pang experience sa kahit ano, and God, through God's grace, by God's Holy Spirit, she became pregnant with Jesus. Yung may edad naman si Elizabeth, by the grace of God, she became pregnant with John the Baptist. Ang ganda, ang ganda nung, nung, ano, diba, nung contrast. Bata, matanda, hindi pa kasal, matanda, matagal ng kasal, magkaiba ng edad, parehong extremes, bata at matanda, and yet pareho nagdala ng tao sa um, grasya ng Panginoon. They were blessed in that way. They were blessed, di ba? Matanda yung isa, na blessed. Nagkaroon ng anak. Yung isa eh, bata pa, nagkaroon ng, hindi lang nagdala ng tao, nagdala ng anak ng Diyos. Anak ng Diyos yung kanyang dinala sa kanyang sinapupunan. So, laking blessing nun. Yung anak ng Diyos ang dadalin mo. Anak niya ang Diyos ang aalagaan mo. Malaking blessing, pero malaki din. Malaki din responsibility. Diba? Malaking responsibility. Biro, kailangan extremely careful ka sa iyong pagbubuntis. Kailangan extremely careful ka sa iyong pagpapalaki ng bata, pagpapa, pagpalit ng lampin, lahat ng gagawin mo para sa baby mo. Dahil anak ng Diyos yan, eh, Maingat na maingat dapat, no? Kasama 'yan sa ating ano, sa ating uh, 
psychology. Kakaiba to eh. Hindi naman to ordinary yung tao. This is tao but also God. Son of God. So kailangan maingat na maingat. Ang laking responsibility. Almost nakaka-intimidating. No? Parang nakaka- nakaka- ano yan? Nakaka- bighani. Pero mo, dala mo, alagaan mo, anak ng Diyos. And yet, in the gospel, in the gospel that we have today, Mary, in all her, in all her anxiety, in all her um, lahat ng kanyang nararamdaman na na pagiging kulang siguro nung pagiging mahina, pagiging uh, uh, hindi karapat dapat. Eh, in all her anxieties, pumunta pa siya dun sa kanyang pinsan para tulungan dahil nagdadalang tao at may edad na nga para tulungan, para suportahan it's a very beautiful dynamic na sinasabi sa atin merong apat na sinasabi sa atin itong, itong kwento na ito ano yun? una that Mary and Elizabeth were blessed naglalagay din natin yan sa buhay natin para magkaroon ng kahulugan para magkaroon ng saysay hindi naman ito tungkol lang kay Mary at kay Elizabeth dapat makita din natin yung buhay natin dito sa kwento na ito. Dapat makita din natin ang Diyos sa buhay natin. So Mary and Elizabeth were blessed. Pinagpala si Mary at si Elizabeth. So tatanungin natin yung ating sarili. Paano ka pinagpala? How are you blessed today? Ngayon lang, for example, ngayong araw na ito, how have you been blessed Anong blessing na tinanggap mo sa araw na ito? Sa buong buhay mo, anong pinakamalaking blessing na tinanggap mo? We have to realize, we have to know, we have to na concretely have in our minds kung bakit nga tayo pinagpala. Ano yung pagpapala na binigay sa atin? Ano yung blessing na ibinigay sa atin? We have to recognize the blessing. So isa yun. Recognize our blessings. Sa so, madalas, di ba? Mas madali natin ma-recognize kung ano yung kulang. Kulang ng pera, kulang ng kalusugan, kulang ng talino, kulang ng ganda, kulang ng laki ng katawan, kulang ng maraming kulang. Mas unang natin nakikita yung kulang, yung wala. Wala na nga, nakikita pa. <laughs> Mas madali natin makita yung wala kang kulang kesa dun sa anong meron. The blessing that we have. Si Mary and Elizabeth recognized, saw, and valued the blessing that they were given. So yung number one na lesson, pinapakita sa atin ang dalawang babae na ito. Recognize the blessing. Count your blessings. Diba? Lagi natin sinasabi yan. Count your blessings. Pangalawa, dahil nakita mo yung blessings mo, magpasalamat ka. Natural, di ba? Meron kang magandang bagay na nangyayari sa bahay, sa buhay mo. Kinuma, sa umaga, gumising ka ulit. Blessing na yun. The fact that you're still alive. Nagduma duma ng COVID, hindi ka, na, hindi ka natamaan. Blessing yun. Buhay pa tayo hanggang ngayon. Blessing yun. The fact that we are, we have a job, the fact that we're able to eat, the fact that you are here, blessing. We recognize the blessing and we give thanks. We be grateful for all the blessings, kahit yung maliliit lang, kahit yung napaka-ordinaryong blessing na dumarating sa buhay natin. Be thankful. Be grateful. And gratitude makes for a happier life. Diba? Kapag mapagpasalamat ka, maligaya ka. Kasi yung nakikita mo yung mga blessings, hindi yung mga kulang. So pangalawa, magpasalamat sa blessing. Nakita mo yung blessing, recognize sa blessing, magpasalamat sa blessing. Pangatlo, na tinuturo sa atin ng dalawang babae, be the blessing. Hindi lang tayo tanggap, ng tanggap, ng tanggap, ng blessing. Be the blessing to others. You be the blessing. So think of ways. Be sensitive, be aware, no? How can I be 
a blessing to others. Doesn't take very much. Konting sensitivity lang. Konting pakikiramdam lang sa mga taong kasama mo sa buhay. Konting awareness. Kung yung pinagdadaanan ng mga tao sa paligid mo. And you can be a blessing. If you have a grateful heart, Kaya nga, very, very important yung gratitude na, yun na sinasabi natin sa pangalawang lesson, di ba? Kasi if you're grateful, it will be very easy for us to bless others. It's our way, in fact. It's a way of, be, of giving thanks by returning the blessing to God and to others. Be the blessing. Tatlong lessons dito sa dalawang babae na nakita natin. Recognize, count our blessings, be grateful for all our blessings, and be the blessing. Let us all stand now. As we meditate on the joyful mystery of the visitation, our attention turns to Mary, Most Holy, and Elizabeth, with Jesus as the source of their, high, of their shared joy. Together with them, let us pray. Lord, open our hearts to you. Lord, open our hearts to you. For the universal church, may she evermore appreciate the role of women in the Christian community and constantly defend their dignity. Let us pray. Lord, open our hearts to you. For all wives, may they be instruments of sanctification for their husbands and promoters of harmony and joy in the home. Let us pray. Lord, open our hearts to you. For all mothers, may they raise <coughs> their children in the holy fear and love of the Lord and be an inspiration to them in the fulfillment of their duties. Let us pray. Lord, open our hearts to you. For all the women consecrated to the Lord, may they always be faithful to their vows and mirror to the lay faithful the splendor of an undivided love. Let us pray. Lord, open our hearts to you. For all girls, may they be loving daughters to their parents, treasure purity and a spirit of dedication to the good of others. Let us pray. Lord, open our hearts to you. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, open our hearts to you. Lord God, may we prepare ourselves for the coming Christmas the way Elizabeth prepared herself for the birth of John and Mary for the birth of Jesus, our Lord, Amen. Please be seated.
May my dear friends that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyong body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng amen at isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo hanggang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people so that being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikiisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, may Almighty God keep you from all harm and bless you with every good gift. Amen. May His grace strengthen you to withstand the hardships of life. Amen. May He make you steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and untiring in love all the days of your life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in your neighbor as Mary did. Thanks be to God. You shall now bless the sick and bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.